Hey Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in the town of Miami Lakes. Bienvenido residente aquí de la ciudad de Miami Lakes eh, para nuestro update de cada día del coronavirus de COVID-19. Eh, hoy hay una muy buena noticia sobre la economía, sobre lo que está, va a pasar en eh, mayo 18. Yo dejo que la, el administrador hable sobre eso. Today is a, a very good day when it comes to our economy. Uh, we already got a date, May 18th, uh, when, in regards to reopening our economy. I'll let the manager get more into that. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a really, really good day in our community when it comes to uh, uh, the economy. Mr. Manager. Hey, Miami Lakers. First of all, happy Friday, great day. And before I forget and get yelled at at home, to all the mothers out there in Miami Lakes, in advance of Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. You're the reason why uh, everything works in our society. You're the glue that holds everything together. So happy uh, Mother's Day, and I hope that you're able to spend it with the people that are closest to you. Para comenzar primero, antes, quiero felicitar a todas las madres en anticipación del Día de las Madres, domingo. Ustedes son eh, lo esencial para la familia y para todos nosotros en nuestra so sociedad. I want to just get started uh, by uh, talking about the numbers as I usually do. We have now 45 confirmed cases. So that's only one more than yesterday. Uh, it's only two in the last two weeks. So we're sticking to our, uh, our numbers, our new numbers, which seems to be an average of about one a week, which is great compared to the fact that we were doing one to two a day a few, uh, about a month ago. So great numbers. We did have one more than since yesterday, but we've only had two in the last 14 days, which is great news. Uh, so, le quiero avisar que tenemos 45 casos confirmados positivos. Es solamente un aumento de uno desde ayer. Y quería avisarle que es un aumento, pero es solamente un aumento de dos en los últimos uh, dos semanas. Que es un promedio más o menos de una a la semana. Antes teníamos un promedio de uno o dos al día. Ahora solamente tenemos uno a la semana, so ya sabemos que, que la curva se está eliminando. Eh, le quería avisar, como dijo el alcalde, que hoy anunció el alcalde del condado que el lunes o el martes va a dar los detalles de un plan para reabrir nuestra economía el día 18 de mayo. Uh, today, Mayor, uh, Miami-Dade County Mayor Jimenez announced that uh, he is going to put forward the details of the plan, the first phase of the business reopening uh, that is going to take place on May 18th. And the numbers that uh, he's talking about for Miami Lakes, almost every business, maybe with the exception of something uh, with large gatherings like the movie theater, every other business is going to get a taste of that reopening, which is great news. And that's a good thing for our economy and all of our uh, residents. That is great, great news, and I know that the need in, in Northwest State to, to reopen is very, very big. I know that our unemployment rate rivals uh, that of Seattle, and sometimes uh, those numbers change. And we saw it this morning at the distribution site, the amount of people that want to get back to work. So I know I had an opportunity to talk to our county commissioner and the county mayor earlier, and I can tell you that that is great news. They're, they're finalizing uh, the plans with the infectious disease e experts. But when they, they put that out there, we're going to have several days for all of our businesses in our town, obviously, except uh, the movie theater. Uh, but for the vast majority of businesses in our community, we're going to have several days uh, to uh, comply with that and to, to say, hey, we need to purchase this. We need to do that. Our staff needs to get trained. Are we? So they're going to have four or five days to do that. And then come Monday, uh, we'll be reopening uh, our businesses here great news uh, and obviously in a way in a fashion where we don't see uh, the coronavirus uh, expand more you know where people are wearing a mask where people understand that we're uh, that outdoor uh, getting getting the coronavirus outdoors especially when you're wearing the mask is, is the chances are very low but those rules for indoor businesses are going to be very lengthy there's going to be a lot of guidelines but it's great news ya y tuve una oportunidad de hablar con el comisionado de condado y con el alcalde eh, y, y yo te digo ya la semana que viene cuando salga las regulaciones estas eh, esperando hasta el lunes 18 que se va a reabrir la economía aquí la, el único obviamente es el, es el, eh, el cine que no se va a abrir 
pero la, la mayoría de nuestros negocios ya van a estar listos para reabrir, obviamente, con ciertos eh, eh, guidelines y, y regulaciones, pero o sea, todo se va a abrir en el, el mayo 18, que es muy importante porque el desempleo en el noroeste del condado está muy, muy, muy alto, el más alto de la nación entera. So, eso es muy buena eh, comunicación, información para nuestros residentes. Yo sé que eh, hoy también estamos celebrando, we're celebrating uh, Jakey's birthday later today. I know we're going to be uh, going, there's going to be a caravan going by his house. Uh, everybody who's a member of Jakey's Army later today, and I know tomorrow there'll be a classic car show uh, where you're going to be able to see, you know, hundreds, dozens, if not hundreds of cars, classic cars to our community, uh, which that, that's uh, that's great news. I know our entire community is rallying behind them and, and keep those prayers coming for, for Jakey. Eh, yo sé que hoy también es el cumpleaños de, de, de Jakey, que todo el mundo aquí es, es parte de lo que decimos, el ejército de Jakey, que estamos rezando por él y eso, vamos a pasar por su casa un poquito más tarde, eh, eh, varios carros para darle eh, feliz cumpleaños y también mañana va a haber una caravana grande eh, de carros clásicos yendo por la ciudad, también celebrando a, a Jakey que empieza mañana por la mañana eh, so Miami Lakers si tienen preguntas cualquier pregunta please uh, let us know we're here to we're here to help we're here to serve you we are getting great great news uh, I think today you're going to see that optimism that hope really rise because I, I saw it this morning uh, how many people uh, were afraid were scared were nervous about what's going on but I think when now when everybody hears the news that May 18th uh, is a is the day that we're going to see the reopening obviously it's not going to be a, a normal reopening like back in january february but it'll be a new normal so that is great great news um for our community but if you don't have any other questions comments uh we'll be shutting up now in uh in about a minute mr manager you got any other uh any other comments no just uh you know we, we talked about it earlier in the week that Today was going to hopefully be the announcement, and thank God we got a little bit of a, a taste of the announcement. He at least uh, the county mayor uh, gave us the information that early next week he's going to give us the details of the reopening and allow enough time for the businesses to get ready for that reopening. And then that uh, reopening will actually take place May the 18th. It's great news, and hopefully that'll uh, put a smile on a lot of people's faces. Thank you, Mr. Manager. John wants to know, uh, he said he came in late. What are the numbers here in Miami Lakes? The numbers today are 45, so that's an increase of one from yesterday. Uh, it's thankfully only two in the last two weeks, so it's it's sticking to our new average. We were averaging before one to two a day. Now we're only doing one a week, which is a great flattening of the curve, and it's great news for uh, all of us here in the town of Miami Lakes. And that's, that's uh, absolutely right, John. That's great news, and you're starting to see the testing in Miami-Dade County even surpass per thousand residents. Uh, even surpassed that of, of Italy and, and one of the highest, if not the highest, in the entire world, uh, which is great news for that reopening come uh, May 18, which is uh, percentage-wise is great, great news. Uh, Eileen de la Cuesta Selva wants to know when will those, uh, when will these neighborhood pocket parks uh, open uh, without playgrounds be open? Uh, specifically talking about the, the neighborhood pocket parks that don't have playgrounds. Yeah, we'll have to see on uh, Monday or Tuesday when the details of the next phase of the uh, mayor's uh, reopening hat come out. Uh, but I'm gonna check on that and I'll have more information for you on Monday. I'm not sure if the pocket parks are gonna be included in that next phase. Anything else, Mr. Manager, we're no, good? No, that's it. Oh, 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 again, happy Mother's Day. Feliz, eh, feliz Dia de la Madre, a toda la madre. To all the moms, have a special day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to, to all the moms out there. Eh, feliz Dia de la Madre. Y también, I know, Mr. Manager, it's your birthday this week. What is it, Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday's my birthday. You're gonna, you're gonna release the age? Okay, is that or is that uh 57. 57. Fi I'm uh, not, not embarrassed. Our town manager turns 57 this uh this Sunday. Sunday, right? Sunday. 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 Yeah. My wife's uh, gotta share her day with me. El, el administrador ya cumple 57 años este domingo. Eh, so felicidad a ti también, administrador. Uh, happy birthday, Mr. Manager. Uh, so reach out to us, Miami Lakers. We're here for you. Uh call us 305-364-6100. We're working uh, to protect your interests every day. We've gotten a lot of good news uh, lately from flattening the curve to more testing. Uh, to actually next week, talking about more testing, we're going to be hosting, and I know we'll be releasing those details soon, a site where, where folks are gonna be able to donate blood, but more importantly, 
uh, you will be getting an antibody test, uh, which is so, so important to, to get back to normal, that antibody test. Eh, ya para la semana que viene, otra cosa que estamos coordinando el administrador y yo y todo el mundo, es que para el jueves que viene, vamos a tener eh, en el parque Royal Oaks, que van a estar donando sangre, pero al mismo tiempo van a estar haciendo un examen para ver si tienen la, inmuni la inmunidad para el coronavirus, que es bien importante para reabrir la economía el 18. So, muchas cosas buenas pasando aquí en nuestra comunidad. Ya vemos la luz eh, ahí en el final, so, pero todavía tenemos que seguir con las máscaras como tenemos en este momento y tenemos que seguir trabajando. So, Miami Lakers, reach out to us. God bless. 305-364-6100. Happy Mother's Day. Eh, happy birthday, Jakey, too. You, I know your, your Jakey's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Mr. Manager, this Sunday. And actually, before we go off, I'm going to get yelled at by people in my class, that uh, my high school graduating class that are big, uh, a lot of Miami Lakers there. I'm actually going to be 58. I, I made a mistake. So I don't want people to think I'm shaving years off my age. So it's 58. So we gave him an extra, we gave him an extra <laughs> year. He's actually turning 58 years old. That is fantastic. Alice Cruz has said, well, yes, we did see the Blue Angels today. Thank you for the Blue Angels for flying over ahead. Hey, they, were, they were amazing. Thank you uh, for, for doing that. I hope you all had a chance to see that. That was truly spectacular, and that's another good sign, and it's always great to see our entire society come together. So let's keep uniting. Let's keep coming, coming together. Miami Lakes has never been so united as we are today. So let's keep working together, Miami Lakers. God bless you. Have a good weekend, and together we will get through this. Take care.